so good morning to all so today we will be discussing about the further portions of the group theory in the yesterday's class we were discussing about what is group and how do we ensure whether a given set is a group or not under a specific composition okay so that was we have done in the last session so we basically have done with the matrix multiplication and we also have taken an integer set and we have verified whether under multiplication and under addition those integer set of group is a group can be considered as a group or not okay so that was the work we have done in the last session and today we will be introducing something uh, new that is about multiplication table maybe you have done some uh, such kind of tables in your very basic of mathematics sessions okay so we will just understand what is a multiplication table is okay so multiplication table multiplication table so if i say what is a multiplication table means It is a table. It is a table that lists of all possible or all the all the pairwise pairwise product of product of two group elements. Two group elements so as so in a multiplication table in a multiplication table we label the rows and columns of a two square array according to the element of the group and the product of a b of two element a and b found on the intersection of the row and n column b so that means so in the table so in the multiplication table okay just say just give what is multiplication table it is very simple one only so multiplication table we labeled the row and columns of two square square array according to according to elements of yeah. group okay so the product of so the product a b of two elements a b of two elements okay a and b found at the intersection okay so you don't bother about the definition at all it's not that matter at all so just for understanding so i just given the definition that's all okay so intersection of row a and column b okay so now if i represent you'll understand in a better way so that is we can represent the representation in this fashion because I have given a representation in the last class that, that is about omega, right? So you can take this as an example here. <coughs> okay. So you can take this as an example. So where you have g equal to what? 1 omega omega square. Okay. Of order of 3. Okay. Because it's having three elements. If you have the number of element is the order of the group. So it is a g equal to 1 omega omega square of order 3 under under multiplication. Okay. So for this case, if I represent a multiplication table, that is a group multiplication table corresponding to that, it will be group multiplication table. Okay, corresponding to this can be represented as like this. Uh, that is, so let me just draw something. And 
here the operation is a multiplication so I can keep that operation here and I'll have different elements on the column side 1 omega omega square and here as well 1 omega omega square as the elements and now if you multiply 1 into 1 you will be have 1 and 1 into omega you will be have omega and 1 into omega square you will have omega square and similarly omega into 1 that is omega then omega into omega omega square omega into omega square it is not omega cube okay omega into omega square will be 1 because there is a uh, theorem that is called rearrangement theorem that is saying is that in a particular row and in a particular column that there will be in no repetition of the any other element so there will be only one element so I will be saying about rearrangement theorem later on you just note on omega into omega square in this case will be because it should be equal to 1 because why because omega into omega square should result another element in the group okay it should not be any element outside the group it should be the element of the group and then only we can say that this is a group okay and similarly omega square 1 that is omega square and we we'll have omega square into omega that is again 1 omega square into omega square that will be omega so this is how this will come okay so you can see and you can check when you consider this particular row 1 omega omega square that is the first row in the multiplication table so there is no term that is repeated okay and also you check the each row and each column you can see that the all the elements in the row will be has been represented in group multiplication tab, table there is no element coming from outside the uh, case okay uh, now also how do we represent the similar ca uh, case for we will also have a representation corresponding to what uh, 1 by 1 i minus i we had a representation now last class we have done so we will do represent the group multiplication table to corresponding to that as well that is g equal to so what was our uh, value that is 1 that is 1 i minus 1 then minus i okay so in the last class we have so this is one option example 1 then this is example 2 and in the last class when we are discussing about 1 i minus 1 minus i though this is considered as a group under multiplication right so we have checked whether 1 i minus 1 minus i is a group or not okay and also we verified that it will be a group because the all the uh, properties of a group is satisfying this particular group okay so in that scenario we can actually say that okay so if I sorry, 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 sorry. so if I do represent the multiplication table corresponding to this this will be like this so I have to represent all the elements on the group on the column okay and also I have to represent all the elements on the uh, row as well that is 1 i minus 1 minus i and similarly here 1 i minus 1 minus i okay so here the operation is a multiplication right? so multiplication is the operation we are operating here And now if you do the uh, column corresponding to this 1 into 1 I will be getting 1 1 into minus uh, 1 into i that is i 1 into minus 1 that is minus 1 1 into minus i that is minus i and similarly i into 1 that is i okay i into i i square la i square means what i square no angle will actually we need to get its Okay, one second. Eh? Yeah, I square means 
will have to get minus 1 and i into minus i that is minus i and i into minus i that is it will be 1 okay and similarly minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 and minus 1 into i minus i and minus 1 into minus 1 that is 1 and minus y, uh, 1 into minus i that is i right? and minus i into 1 that is minus i and uh, minus i into i that is 1 right? i square minus that is i will be coming then minus i into minus uh, 1 so in this case okay there is a uh, here there is a change is there the, uh, this will be 1 right Okay. So this is equal to minus i into i that is 1. Okay. So then minus i into minus 1 that is i. Then minus i into minus i. So that is we will be getting that is i square. Yeah, minus i all square value. So minus i all square. So that is actually we will be getting uh, minus 1 here. Okay. okay. This is how you will be getting the corresponding value. Uh, 1 minus 1. You, here also you can see that when you look into the row, there is no value is repeated again. Okay, that is 1 i minus 1 minus i and also you can see here is that uh, in the column side 1 i minus 1 minus i, i minus 1 minus i 1, minus 1 minus i 1 i, minus i 1 i minus 1. So there is no uh, element of the group is repeated in the multiplication table so then if I say the rearrangement theorem so when I say the rearrangement theorem it is actually saying is that whenever you rearrange any term in this group okay so let me just uh, specify what is rearrangement theorem is so rearrange rearrangement theorem so, rearrangement theorem is saying that in a multiplication table, okay, in a multiplication table, each element of a group, of a group occurred once okay and only one in each column or row okay and that's what rearrangement theorem is saying that is in a multiplication table each element of the group occurred once and only one in a each column and row that's what we observed in the uh, above cases, right? Okay, we only observed only one element that is corresponding in a group. Okay, so that is about rearrangement theorem. So it is actually saying about in a multiplication table, each element of a group occurred once and only one in each column and or row. Each column or row. So that is about rearrangement theorem. Okay, so now let me introduce you something. Uh, Okay, so let me introduce you here another group of symmetry elements. Okay, so that is about group of symmetry elements. Group of symmetry elements of a square okay group of symmetry elements of a square which is also called as c4 v group okay such type of group we call as c4 v group group of symmetry elements of a square okay so we know that i said that when you consider any uh, square so there will be two type of possible symmetry will be there. One is rotational symmetry. Another one is reflection symmetry. Okay. So there will be two type of symmetry associated with the square. That is one is reflection symmetry. 
another one is rotational symmetry okay so i'll be first representing about a rotational symmetry case that is rotational symmetry elements rotational symmetry elements it's very easy okay rotational symmetry elements so what is rotational symmetry elements means that it is a rotation is a rotation about an axis rotation about an axis passing through passing through the center and perpendicular to the to the plane of a paper okay if you consider a paper so it is like a perpendicular to the plane of the paper as well okay so rotation symmetry element is a rotation about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of paper so let me just represent a square like this okay just treat it as a square okay sometimes it may be a rectangle as well okay so i'm just representing a square here that you, you just assume that this is a square so a b c d so i just given the each corner i have given a notation that is a b c d for this representing this square this is very important a b c d because whenever you are rotating as you know that when you, this uh, square is rotating the position of the c will change okay c d a b will change when you are rotating in that fashion okay so we'll look into one case the first case is that it is said to be c4 so there's a notation associated with that that is called as c4 c4 is a rotational symmetry okay which is saying is that we are actually uh, rotating this square in a clockwise direction so clockwise clockwise rotation clockwise rotation about 90 degree okay so we are rotating uh, in a clockwise direction about 90 degree in this case and if you do so what will be having a b c d as the initial uh, values right okay so when you rotate uh, in this case actually your a will be converting to a will change and b also will change corresponding to that and c also will change you to another new c so we'll see how it be it will be so let me just represent the initial uh, square here okay so this is our initial square which having a b c d okay under c4 symmetry that is c4 means we are actually rotating along clockwise direction 90 degree so that this becomes what so this becomes the square edge you notice here it is become d a b c okay so what we have done is it's a rotation by 90 degree along clockwise direction and the entire position of a b c d will change according to that so c4 is a, a clockwise rotation about 90 degree you note down that c4 is a clockwise rotation about 90 degree so now let me introduce the second one so that is c4 2 c4 2 okay so 4 is in the subscript okay 4 is in the subscript and 2 on the superscript side okay so in this case let me introduce you directly here so it is actually a clockwise rotation clockwise rotation about 90 degree that means you are rotating clock along clockwise direction twice 90 degree you are doing the uh, sorry not 90 degree it is 180 degree right? okay so it is 180 degree that means you are uh, two times you are rotating around 90 degree so in this case you can notice that so 
so let me just draw directly this figure that will be more convenient to understand so earlier our state is a b c d that is the initial square position now when you have c4 to rotation what you will be actually it is actually 180 degree clockwise rotation so resultant will be what you will be getting so it will be c d b a so it becomes c d b a or rather you can say that d a b c na nammal endu 90 degree again rotate cheyunnadinu samanamana a b c d na nammal c4 2 pravasham 90 degree rotate cheyunnadu 180 degree rotate cheyunnadu varna okay so similarly c4 3 ennu parayunnu c4 c4 3 C4 3 and now you can assume it is a clockwise rotation. Okay, it is a clockwise rotation about 270 degree. 270 degree. Okay, this is very important. We have discussions. This is a group of symmetry elements. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. So, we have to do this. So, we have to do this. So that is ABCD actually converting to under C43 operation that is rotation about 270 degree ABCD and ABC and it is rotating along clockwise direction by 270. Okay, then it is transforming to B C A sorry B C A D A B C D A B C D A and the is it converted out now the third one sorry fourth one c4 4 c4 4 means and the iricum c4 4 and the iricum that is 360 rotation 360 rot sorry it is fourth one la. so the fourth case is C43 rotation. Okay. So that is sorry, C44 four, four rotation. That is clockwise rotation about 360 degree. So 360 degree means it is equivalent to 0 degree, right? Okay, there will be no change in the initial and the final case. So we can say that. Initially, it is what? It is A, B, C, D. The square is A, B, C, D. Initially, it is A, B, C, D. So, it is actually converting to under C, 4, 4 operation. It is actually transforming to what? It is actually remaining the same. Okay. Under this operation, again, you will be getting A, B, C D. Okay. So you can say that C44 is an identity element here. Because after under this operation, actually you are getting the same one. Okay. So you can say that this is an identity element. Okay. So this is the identity element corresponding to this case. Because after this operation, you are getting the same one. So that is this is an identity element corresponding to the set. Okay. So, you understand what we have done here? It is about rotational symmetry. We just have done a corresponding value here. Okay. Now, in similar fashion, I can also do with the reflection symmetry. Okay. So, let me just say about reflection symmetry. reflection symmetry so reflection symmetry elements okay so what we are doing is that we are collecting all the group symmetry elements that is c4v group having different elements we are collecting all the elements here so until now we got a four element that is actually corresponding to the rotational symmetry of the group now we are considering Again, we are treating the square here. Okay. 
so we are taking the same square a b c d here and we are dealing with the reflection symmetry associated the, with that okay so there will be uh, because if i place a mirror along x axis okay if i mirror along x axis there will be a reflection symmetry and similarly if i place a mirror along y axis okay then there will be corresponding to a symmetry corresponding to that and also if you put uh, the mirror along ac this diagonal axis ac law so this is a diagonal axis so we'll also have a symmetry associated with the ac diagonal axis axis and also along this bd diagonal axis okay in this four fashion we can keep actually the mirror in this uh, square okay so in that case so let me introduce you something that is the first one mx that is the first mirror reflection m representing the mirror reflection okay mx means reflection reflection on x axis okay then we'll also having my this is a reflection on y axis okay and the third one it is noted as sigma a sigma a means it is a reflection we observed while placing a mirror along reflection on ac diagonal axis okay ac diagonal axis okay and the fourth one it is sigma b okay it is reflection of bd diagonal axis that means whenever you place a mirror along bd bd diagonal axis okay so in this case what is mx will be becomes okay if i do that i am not representing each figure corresponding to that instead i will just represent that uh, we will have a b c d right okay so a b c d is the initial state of that square so under mx operation under mx operation a becomes what a becomes b and b becomes c and c becomes b and d becomes a how it becomes now you can see that a b c la so a b c if i just represent a b c d so that is along mx operation that is mirror you place along x axis so in this case so what you will be going to observe is that exactly inverse of that is d c b sorry this is a and this is b okay so now now like this your uh, square will change under mx operation okay and now if i represent where here uh, mx is uh, actually denominator sorry under subscript value so don't confuse that mx so the next one is my in the my case a becomes what a becomes b b becomes a c becomes d and d becomes what d becomes c so how do it will be so initial case now you can see here that is a b c d so under m y operation i will be placing the mirror here okay along y axis okay then under m y okay operation so this square becomes how so the square becomes b and a a will interchange so b a c d clear and now uh, let me just take uh, sigma a sigma a means 
where we are placing reflection on AC diagonal. In that case, the initial value of A, A becomes, A will be A itself, and B will be D, and C will be C itself, and D will be B. Okay. So that means, in this case, if I just represent the figure here, so that is A, B, C, D. So I will be placing the mirror along this uh, diagonal axis, okay, AC diagonal axis and B and D will interchange. So simply imagine that you are keeping a mirror here, okay. So B will be D, D will be B. So that is we will be getting in this case under sigma A operation, that is under sigma A reflection symmetry. So A will be remain same, C will be remain same, D and B will interchange, okay. So that is sigma A means and sigma B it is where the initial A, B, C, D it is actually transforming to C, B, A, D. Okay. That is here it is sigma A. Now let me just say about in this case will the operation will be where we will be placing we will be placing the mirror a, B, C, D is the initial square. So here we will be placing the mirror along this B, D axis. Okay. So that is it is transforming to sigma B. It is transforming to what? It is transforming to A and B will interchange. That is C, A. B and D will be remain same. Okay. Hope you understand how do we have done the rotational symmetry and the corresponding um corresponding representation of the reflection symmetry and the rotational symmetry value how do we identify now if i say the total group element in this case okay the eight element of the group so which have the eight element will be there for the c4v group so the eight element forms a group of a group of if there is eight element the group of order will be what the order will be eight okay so since the, we have eight elements here okay so all the elements will be uh, can be collected to can be considered as a g equal to C4 for C4 C4 2 C4 3 Mx My Sigma A Sigma B. So these are the eight elements of the group, and also we know that C4 4 is an identity element. So I can represent this group as E. So this is E, C4, C4, 2, C4, 3 and Mx, Mx, My, Sigma A and Sigma B is the 8th group element of group of symmetry elements. So it constitute of rotational symmetry element and reflection symmetry element. Okay. group of symmetry elements that is equal to rotational symmetry elements symmetry elements plus reflection symmetry elements okay symmetry elements and this group of symmetry element we used to call as c4v group c4v group Okay, so it's a group of symmetry element which constitute of rotational symmetry element and reflection symmetry element. Okay, so this is the representation corresponding to that. Now, let me just verify whether this will be a group or not. Okay, I have to verify that also, right? I have said that these are the eight elements of a particular group. Okay, group of symmetry element I just said. Now, I have to verify that whether this is a group or not. Okay, 
so i have to verify that so that we, for for verifying that first we have to verify that whether all the values are constituting to that is uh, the closure property i have to check so let me just say that property 1 okay so it is property 1 is saying about closure property so we have c4 is a element of group g this uh, representation is a uh, saying it's not ended. okay so this is uh, saying is that c4 belongs to group g and c4 square also belongs to group g okay in that case what will be c4 into c4 square so what will be that c4 into c4 square so what is the operation here can you tell me what will be the resultant value here c4 then what will be basically what is c4 c4 is a 90 degree rotation and c4 square is 180 degree rotation okay so 180 degree rotation after the 180 degree rotation again you have to rotate by 90 degree that is uh, mean by c4 into c4 square means so whenever you have a representation like that you have to first execute the last one that is c4 square is there no first you execute this uh, operation then you do the c4 operation that is first you have to rotate by 180 degree then you rotate 90 degree that is in total you are actually rotating c43 that is 270 degree c43 means it is a clockwise rotation about uh, 270 degree so we can say that so c43 is also an element of group g and similar fashion we can also check uh, for the case like uh, let me just say that c4 that is a rotation by 90 degrees an element of group g and my my is a rotation on y axis right so this is also an element of group g now if i execute c4 my what is c4 my means what will be the resultant value tell me now c4 my what will be the resultant and there comes c4 y my and the other one the work code and answer it up now that's the end of the my and the bottom down a mirror reflection along y axis on it okay but the mirror reflection along y axis is a yeah okay then other 90 degree in order of data other than the number of the other item is in a mirror reflection in by your car so again if it is normally changing the number of square then they consider here a b c d and the other square consider here okay a b c d about adhyam and they um other out of the number of m by in the operation at home m by in the operation very bomb is going to transform here other adhyam and silica in a room transform here a b c d sorry a b c d in a representative of the market okay okay so it is a b c d so a b c d so under m by operation again the transform you by and worry about number of the chain they even a year axis in the number they do for you y axis in the middle of two so what in the change here b um a um interchange m c um d um interchange m sir that means b a d c and the little play on a m by and the one operation then after m by operation there is an operation that is c4 in the water in there c4 in the water in the so now you have to rotate this by 90 degree now you have to rotate this by 90 degree i'm going to rotate him on the data 90 degree number of rotating and again And you are rotating on C and the water in the down but a C bedroom then this will be B and this will be A and this will be D that is C B A D in the room okay 
ഈ രീതിയിലാണ് നമ്മൾ നോക്കേണ്ടത് ഈ ഒരു രീതിയിലാണ് ഓക്കെ വട്ട് ഇസ് ദിസ് എന്താണ് സിഗ്മ സിഗ്മ ബി അല്ലെ സോ വട്ട് വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ബേസിക്കലി ഈസ് സിഗ്മ ബി ആണ് ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് ബേസിക്കലി കിട്ടുന്നത് സിഗ്മ ബിയിലാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ ഒരു സ്ട്രക്ചർ കണ്ടത് അതായത് സി ബി എ ഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഇത് വന്നിട്ടുള്ള ഏതിലാണ് സിഗ്മ ബിന്റെ കേസിലാണ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് സിഗ്മ ബി ഓഫ് വാട്ട് സിഗ്മ ബി ഓഫ് എ ബി സി ഡി എടുക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു സ്ട്രക്ചർ നമുക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നത് സോ ബേസിക്കലി വാട്ട് ഐ വാസ് ട്രൈങ് ടു സേ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് വെൽ എവർ യു ഡു എൻ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സി ഫോർ എം വൈ സോ യു ആർ ആക്ച്വലി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് എന്താണ് സിഗ്മ ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഓപ്പറേഷൻ ആണ് കിട്ടുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് എന്താണ് സിഗ്മ ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ സോറി റാദർ ഇഫ് ഐ റെപ്രസെന്റ് സി ഫോർ എം വൈ ഓൺ എ ബി സി ഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സ്ക്വയറിൽ നമ്മൾ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വി ആർ ബേസിക്കലി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് സിഗ്മ ബി ഓൺ എ ബി സി ഡി എന്നുള്ളതിന് ഇക്വലൻ്റ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സി ഫോർ എം വൈ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സിഗ്മ ബി and sigma b belongs to group g right so we can say that it is also satisfying the closure property and similarly ed operation ningal eduthu kaynalum aa operation de result ennu parayunnathu ee group le ore element aayirikum appo first nammal endu edu ee case le property 1 closure property nammal endu edu verify cheyidu ee c4v ennu parayna group inde case le closure property satisfy cheyunnundu okay now we have to check the second one okay now we'll move on to the second one second one ennu parayna nammal identity element inde kaaryam ivada check cheyunde njan idinde case povunnilla thalkaram adu associative property inde case lotu povunnilla adu anyway ivada associative property um valid aanu adu ningal check cheyitha mathi okay so property 2 eduthu kanjal property 2 ennu parayna nammal ഇൻവേഴ്സ് എലമെന്റ് ആണ് എടുക്കേണ്ടത് അതായത് സി സി ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു ഇ സി ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു ഇ ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു എന്തായിരിക്കണം ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു സി ഫോർ എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ ഇ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഈ കേസിലെ ഇ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബേസിക്കലി സി ഫോർ ഫോർ ആണ് അല്ലേ അതായത് ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്താണ് വി ട്രീറ്റഡ് ആസ് സി ഫോർ ഫോർ ആണ് അതായത് ഈ ഒരു കേസിൽ നമ്മൾക്ക് സ്ക്വയർ എ ബി സി ഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സ്ക്വയർ എന്തായിരിക്കും വിൽ ബി സെയിം ലൈക്ക് എ ബി സി ഡി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ ഫാഷൻ തന്നെയായിരിക്കും നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒരു കേസിൽ സ്ക്വയർ കിട്ടുക ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ വി ട്രീറ്റഡ് ആസ് ദിസ് എൻ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് സോ സി ഫോർ ഇ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് സി ഫോർ തന്നെയാണ് കിട്ടുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നമുക്ക് ഈ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ വേറെ അടുത്തത് പറയാം അതായത് സി ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു സി ഫോർ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് എന്താണ് സി ഫോർ ഫോർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ആണ് സോ ദിൽ ബി നോ ചേഞ്ച് അല്ലേ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് സിമിലർ ലൈക്ക് സീറോ ഡിഗ്രി ചേഞ്ചിന്റെ കറസ്പോണ്ടിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് കേസ് ആണ് സോ ദെൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ ഈ ഒരു ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഡിഗ്രി ആണ് റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക ദെൻ സി ഫോർ നമ്മൾ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്ന കേസിൽ നമുക്ക് ഫൈനലി നമുക്ക് എന്തായിരിക്കും കിട്ടുക ചേഞ്ച് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സി ഫോർ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന കറസ്പോണ്ടിംഗ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ചേഞ്ച് ആയിരിക്കും കിട്ടുക അതായത് സി ഫോർ സി ഫോർ എ ബി സി ഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന കേസിൽ വി ആർ ആക്ച്വലി ഗോണ ഗെറ്റ് ഈസ് സി ഫോർ എ ബി സി ഡി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന റിസൾട്ട് തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് നമ്മളെ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് സി ഫോർ ഫോറിനെ ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പറ്റും ആൻഡ് സിമിലർലി ഇഫ് യു ഡു സിഗ്മ എ ഓക്കെ സിഗ്മ എ ഇൻറ്റു ഇ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റിംഗ് അഗെയിൻ സിഗ്മ എ തന്നെ ആയിരിക്കും കിട്ടുക ദാൻ മീൻസ് there exists a there exists a an identity element okay maya ayadond korchu sound ne korchu budhimutt undav nalla maya undu ivade so that is the case of identity element now property 3 i am checking about inverse condition okay property 3 uh, ennu parayunnathu inverse aanu so let me just uh, introduce you the ele uh, inverse element directly here and you can check after that okay so element and inverse element i will list out here 
Okay, so the inverse element and element I'll be listing out here, and you can see that C4 in inverse element, inverse element of C4 is C4 three. Okay, inverse element of Mx will be Mx. Okay, inverse element of sigma a will be sigma a. And inverse element of inverse element of C four two will be C four two. Okay, इवरा वाइस वर्स इम पॉसिबल आने C four three इन्द इनवर्स एलिमेंट इन वारने C four आय रिक्यूम. Okay, so you know note down that. इन्द इनको वारने के वेरिफाई जी आने के इनको वारने के जी यंदा आने नमक के वेरिफाई जी आने नमक के इन्द कटने C four C four three एड तक आयेंगे नमक के इन्द कटना आईडेंटिटी एलिमेंट कटना that is C four four कटना इंगल उन्द वेरिफाई दिन ओके के C four C four three that means निक ए बी सी डी इन द बारे इन द स्क्वायर ना फर्स्ट इन अपन दे दो अंडर सी फोर थ्री वेरिएबल यू हैव टू रोटेट बाय टू सेवेंटी डिग्री ओके देन यू हैव टू अप्लाई सी फोर देन यू हैव टू अगेन रोटेट बाय नाइंटी डिग्री ओके दैट मींस व्हाट यू आर गोना गेट अदा आने नम्रा चौधी में इन द बारे इन अंदाटी <laughs> डिटी Okay, M X into M X. That is, you have A B C D in the way. In the one square under here, you have to place a mirror along X axis. And under M X symmetry, though this will be transforming to what? This will be transforming to what? We will be getting A B C D in the way. In the one D. C A D again M X in our apply in the case here. Now we can do it. So we'll be getting actually A B C D. That means and that this is corresponding to E identity element. That is so that is M X into M X in the one again. Identity and that is M X in the inverse in the one again. That is this is A and this is A inverse corresponding to that. So that is we are getting the identity element corresponding to that. Clear or no? If I write the carrying out, just to chart the part, na. It is important the carrying out. Symmetry element of it, but the part of the carrying out clear or no? All right, all right. Clear or no? Can chart the part, na. Yes. Okay. वही कार्य रंग लो मंसिल आना कारण हम इन्हीं अंगों टे इधर बच्चे टुलो एक कार्य आना तो हमारे कार्य क्या बोलने ओके ग्रुप ऑफ सिमेट्री एलिमेंट बच्चे टुला कार्य लो आना तो हमारे इन्हीं कार्य क्या बोलने अब हम बड़े इम्पोर्टेंट आने इप्पर द्वारे वाला डिस्कशन से तो बारे नहीं ओके सो हमारे दर्द है आ वन ओमेगा ओमेगा स्क्वायर ना केस कंसर्न है जब बोलते हैं ना हम किवड़े मेरे मल्टीप्लिकेशन टेबल का कंसर्न है ये हमारे पास चुम जैसे अगर लोटो वैरना हम बोल एक आयरिंग वाला पढ़ाते ऑर्डर ऑफ़ है ऑर्डर ऑफ़ द एलिमेंट 
of the group നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ദ എലമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആണ് പറയുന്നത് സോ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ദ എലമെന്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇഫ് ഫോർ എൻ എലമെന്റ് ഫോർ എൻ എലമെന്റ് എ ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് a of the group a raised to n equal to e a raised to n equal to e then n is the order of the element a element a of the group okay so for example uh, let me give you an example here so that is c4 4 c4 4 endu varna endane 4 times endane 90 degree rotation 4 times repeat cheyyanu that is equal to endane e aanu le identity element aanu so ee or case il namukku endu kittunna order of c4 order of c4 endu varna endane n equal to 4 aanu adhaade നിങ്ങൾ അതിന്റെ റേസ് ടു സം വാല്യൂ എടുക്കുമ്പോൾ ഐഡന്റിറ്റി എലമെന്റ് ആയിരിക്കണം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടേണ്ടത് ആൻഡ് സിമിലർ ഫാഷൻ നമ്മൾ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് എം എക്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ എം എക്സിന്റെ ഓർഡർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എന്താണ് എം എക്സ് എം വൈ സിഗ്മ എ സിഗ്മ ബി ഇതിന്റെ ഒക്കെ ഓർഡർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് എം എക്സ് എം വൈ സിഗ്മ എ സിഗ്മ ബി ഇതിന്റെ എല്ലാം ഓർഡർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് എന്താണ് which is equal to endana 2 aanu adu namu nerthu parannundarunu endana mx into mx ennu parannadana namukku identity element kittu that is mx twice le so in this case namukku order ennu parayunnathu endana n equal to 2 aanu order of the element of the group ennu parayunnathu okay similarly namukku sigma a inde inverse ennu parana sigma a enna irunnu sigma b inde inverse ennu parana sigma b enna aanu എം വൈന്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നു സിഗ്മ എം വൈ തന്നെയാണ് സോ ആ കേസിലെല്ലാം ഓർഡർ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കിട്ടുക എന്താണ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ആണ് നമുക്ക് അതിന്റെ വാല്യൂ ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടുക ഓക്കെ എന്നാവും ലെറ്റ് മീ ഇൻട്രൊഡ്യൂസ് നദർ ടെർമിനോളജി ദറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൺജുഗേറ്റ് എലമെന്റ് കോൺജുഗേറ്റ് എലമെന്റ്സ് കോൺജുഗേറ്റ് എലമെന്റ്സ് എന്താണ് കോൺജുഗേറ്റ് എലമെന്റ് ലെറ്റ് എ കോമ ബി കോമ സി ബിലോങ്സ് ടു എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ജി സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് എ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ബി എ ഈക്വൽ ടു സി ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ബി എൻ സി ആർ conjugate elements conjugate elements of each other okay each other so let me just give you an example here that is conjugate element of conjugate element of c43 is equal to c4 okay engena nu namukku adu parayan pattya adayade ivide nammal a inde sthanathu nammal edukkunna mx ennu varna case aanu mx c4 3 mx is equal to endaanu that is equal to c4 aayirikkum okay kaaranam mx inde inverse ennu varna mx thaneyaanu so if you do so you will be getting in this case so ee or case namukku ipo namukku edu cheyam idu namukku just compare cheyanengi a inverse b a equal to c ennu varna compare cheyanengi namukku manasilavu mx inde inverse ennu varna mx thaneyaanu okay c43 ennu varna b aanu c4 ennu varna c aanu so namukku ivide conjugate elements ennu parayana endaanu c43 and c4 are conjugate to one another ennu parayan pattu okay and also similar fashion namukku venange onnu kodu cheyam that is m y m y c4 3 m y is equal to c4 
okay so in this case il also ee or operation cheyumbolu ningal always nangal endha cheyanda vechukkenal one side a inverse edukka adhaadu on the left hand side la a inverse then right hand side la adinde corresponding elementum okay angane edukkumbo neengalku kittuna result result undaavum c ennu parayna ningal operate cheyna value undaavum b appo ee reethil a inverse b a edukkumbo c aanu kittunengil b and c are conjugate to each other adana c4 3 and c c ennu c4 ennu parne conjugate aayittu namukku treat cheyan kaaranam okay ini next idu aayittu bandhapetta namukku parayanulladhu class of a group aanu note cheya class of a group class of a group okay so endana class of a so in order to find a class of a group split a group into into sets of sets that all elements all elements of a set such that ana set such that all elements of a elements of a set are set are conjugate to to each other but no two elements are no two elements are belonging to different belong to different sets are conjugate to each other conjugate to each other such such a set of elements are known to be the class of a group known to be class of a group so it is basically it is a collection of collection of two uh, uh, collection of conjugate elements that is are called uh, called means class of a group that is example so e is a conjugate okay e is a conjugate to itself okay that is identity elements conjugate is itself and also we know that in the above group symmetry element c4 and c4 3 are a class of conjugate elements and also you can say that c4 square its conjugate is c4 to itself and also conjugate of mx is my okay conjugate of mx is my so okay so mx and my we can also list and similarly sigma a and sigma b so which is also a class of conjugate elements so which are the classes of a classes of the group symmetry elements okay group symmetry element nu parayna c4 group c4 b group in kaaryam nu parayunnade so elements of a square okay so e c4 c4 3 c4 square okay so basically it is a uh, we can split a group into such that all elements of set of a conjugate to each other but no two elements are belonging to different set are conjugate to each other such set of elements are known to be class of here you can see that uh, you don't see any uh, another class of uh, elements were c4 3 and c4 2 coming together okay so it is a collection of what it is a collection of different conjugate elements of a particular group so class means 
it is a set of set of conjugate elements of that particular group so conjugate of e is e itself c4 conjugate is c43 and c42's conjugate is c42 mx in the conjugate nu parna my aanu sigma a in the conjugate nu parna sigma b aanu nammal notate kiya ee sigma a sigma b ennallade chala representation lokke neengalku kaanan pattiya sigma x sigma y ennu irikku to okay sigma x sigma y ennu irikkum chala notation la neengalku kaanan vendi pattiya appo aa reethilum adine represent cheyyarundu okay now let me just uh, have, a, have a question uh, we'll do that and we'll wind up today's session that is we'll just take an example here if a sorry if in a group if in a group g the elements are the elements are satisfying satisfying the relation satisfying the relation x square equal to e okay x square equal to e so that is the identity element where e is the identity element okay show that show that g is abelian in nature abelian in nature how do we prove that so if in a group g the elements are satisfying the relation x square equal to e okay x square equal to e then the identity uh, x square equal to e that is the identity element show that g is abelian in nature so how do we say that okay nammal nerthe parannundirunnu or karyam aa oru conjugate element inde concept nammal parannundirunnu sorry conjugate element alla order of the group inde case nammal oru case parannundirunnu okay order of the element order of the element of the group inde case nammal parannundirunnu avadu ningalku ee oru similar representation ningalku kaanan vendi pattum okay appo nammal parannundirunnu x square equal to e ennu parayanengil x square equal to e ennu parayanengil that means endaanu eppadiyana namukku idinde identity that means this is basically x into x ennu parannathu namukku oru identity element aanu kittanade that means ee term ennu parayan endaanu this is a anengil this will be a inverse aayirikum okay so that i can say that so this implies is that x equal to x inverse le right? so this x is x inverse angane aavumbale namukku identity element nokki ivide kittugayullu and similarly y square ennu parayunnathu y square ennu parayunnathu e anengil y dot y equal to e aayirikanam angane anengil adil oru y ennu parana endha aayirikanam y inverse aayirikanam okay so it should be y inverse in that case okay so nammude abelian ennu parayumbo namukku actually prove cheyanda endana abelian ennu parayumbo namukku prove cheyanda xy equal to endayirikanam yx aanu ennana abelian group aanengil nammal adine paraya okay that is ab should be equal to ba aanengil aanu nammal adine abelian ennu paraya so we have to verify that okay so in this case so if i let me introduce xy xy ennu parannu kanjal x ennu parannu namukku ariyam x is equal to what xy ennu parannadinte inverse edukkanengil xy inde inverse edukkanengil for example x y equal to x y inverse aayirikum okay all inverse aayirikum then you split, split into this one you will be getting what you will be getting you are going to get a y inverse x inverse and get them okay so that is namukku ariya endana y inverse and x inverse ennu parane these are x and y okay so that is equal to y x okay so let me just say that xy inverse edukkanengil so xy inverse is equal to y inverse and x minus aanu nu vicharikka so then xy aayirikum xy inverse nu parana endana which is equivalent to xy and y inverse x inverse nu parana endana which is equivalent to yx okay so from that we can say that it is a 
abelian in nature. Even number use a concept in the war in the x square in the war in the e i as identity element down on angle as it or element in the war in the and even x square on the dashikin and then a gender brasham x and the operation number execute in the law. Okay, I love your operation and the iconum. It should be a inverse iconum. I element in the war in a inverse iconum. Then only we will be getting the corresponding identity element. Okay, so here is the number. Abelian in nature on a in the Okay, so in any session wind up chain of the Mumbai number is not symmetry elements and the group of symmetry elements in the Varane. Okay, so let me just show you the multiplication table corresponding to that. A do the chase it in the Mukhi in the session wind up here and I'll just turn the chia just to wait here. Okay, multiplication corresponding to C4V group. Multiplication table of C4V group that is group symmetry element. Okay, so the value table on it, I don't know how to do it. We will discuss the cyclic group in the area. We will discuss the class in the area. So, if I have a case, let me just draw the multiplication table corresponding to here. So, we have element side. So, basically, we have a multiplication. So, we have C4, 4. Okay. Then C4, 1. C4, 1. C4, 2. C4, 3. Then we'll have Mx, My, Sigma X and the other one and the other Sigma A, B and the other one. Okay. Sigma A, Sigma B. It is on your convenience. Okay. Then similarly on the column side, C44, C41 and C42, C43, Mx, My, Mx, My, Sigma A, Sigma B, and we will represent here. Okay. So now if I represent C44 and C44 and we will be getting identity. E I can get up. Okay. Then the next one will be C41. Identity element into C41. C41 and C42. Then we will have C41 here. Sorry, C43. C43, then we'll have Mx, My, that is Sigma A, Sigma B. And similarly here, here we'll have C41, and the second one will be C42, that is C41 into C44, okay? And C41 into C41, that is C42, and C43. Now you can verify the you can verify the okay? Then we'll have sigma A, sigma B will come, then MY will come, MX will come. Okay? And similarly, here in this case, C42, C43, then E, then C41, then MY. Mx sigma v sorry sigma v la sigma b sigma a okay then we'll have c43 in the role of okay, angle c43 e c41 c42 sorry what am to sigma Sigma B, Sigma B and uh, Sigma A, Mx, My. Okay. And next, Mx in the row. So this is the first one. Mx in the group. 
second sigma b and the gutum then m by sigma a then e and then c4 2 c4 3 c4 1 Okay, you can verify the outcome that is mx into c41. That is sigma b and r9. m by into c42. So, you can verify the outcome that is not a good thing. You can verify the outcome that is not a good thing. You can verify the outcome that is not a good thing. You can verify the outcome that is not a